Hey everyone, my name is Laura Taylor Namey and I'm here today to give you three reasons to be riveted by my new book, A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. The first reason is definitely the food. My character, Lila Reyes, is a Miami Cuban teen baker who goes to England for the summer. And as I grew up in a huge Cuban family, this gave me the opportunity to showcase all of the Cuban foods that I grew up on, cooking and eating and eating. And I'm here to show you a couple of them today that feature prominently in my book. The first one is on the cover and it is the pastelito de guayaba. This is delicious. This is the guava pastry that is on the cover of my book and that Lila and her family sell at their bakery, Panaderia La Paloma in Miami, Florida. And if you have a chance to try a guapa pastry, I highly recommend it. The second one is something that got an entire chapter in a Cuban girl's guide. And that's right here. This is the Cubano sandwich. This is my favorite sandwich in the world and I love it so much. I did write an entire chapter in a Cuban girl's guide just showcasing the sandwich. I mean, other things happen, but mainly it's about the sandwich. And somehow I got away with this. The second way to be riveted is definitely the romance. When Lila Reyes lands in Winchester, England, soon after she lands, she meets Orion Maxwell. Orion is the son of a tea shop owner. And I'm gonna describe Orion in three words. That would be witty, steadfast, and prudent. Now, Lila, on the other hand, is stubborn, big-hearted, and dynamic. What happens when these two meet? You're gonna to have to read and find out, but I'll let you know this was the slow burn romance of my dream as a writer. And I had so much fun writing these two and you'll just have to wait to see what happens to them. Here they are, are they cute? Okay, the third and final reason to be riveted by a Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow is definitely the cozy factor. Cuban Girl's Guide has a cozy factor of probably 5,000. There is so much tea in this book. Orion sells tea, he loves to find Leela's favorite tea and everyone's favorite tea. Tea is everywhere and that's nice and cozy. Another thing, there is so much knitwear in this book. Sweaters, scarves, jackets, more sweaters, more scarves. The sweater on the front cover here that I love so much is a big major player in this book. That's a little spoiler. Anyway, another thing is the setting itself. Winchester, England is such a cozy place and I can't wait to go back to England to visit it again. It's full of cobblestones and ruins. In my book, there's um, motorbike rides through the countryside with stargazing. So A Cuban Girl's Guide is full of all the wonderful coziness that we need during this time. So those are my ways to be riveted by A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. What will yours be? You're gonna have to read to find out. Bye everyone.